Hi guys, welcome to Accounting Online. In this video, I'll show you how to run the VAT return um, in Sage 50 accounts, and this is part two of my previous video. Okay, so um, this is my Sage here, and this is the VAT module. Um, these are all the VAT returns. So let me just explain it to you. This is the actual company. Um, this is the actual data but what i have done is i've changed the name of the company and uh, just for this tutorial and uh, then uh, there are a couple of things what you need to um, be careful before running a vat return let me show it to you so these are the three questions you need to ask yourself before running a vat return so the first thing is uh, have you taken a backup you should be taking a backup before running a VAT return and why it is important uh, I'll explain it to you in a while uh, the second thing is you should have reconciled a bank before running the VAT return like once you have posted the bank into the system into the Sage 50 accounts uh, so it just gives you the surety that 80% of the data like the 90% of the figures what you know what you're gonna get from the um, VAT return uh, is going to be correct because if the bank is not posted or if the bank is not reconciled you're not going to be sure about the VAT figures that you're gonna see in the different boxes and the third thing is you should be reconciling your customers and supplier balances uh, this thing doesn't apply to all the companies because if it is a small company and you're doing everything on the cash basis uh, like you're recording the sales when it is coming into the bank statement and you are uh, taking into account all the expenses when they, they are going out of the bank statement you shouldn't be expecting to see any outstanding balances but for the big companies where you're doing the uh, bookkeeping and accounting on the accrual basis so you 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 would expect to see some um, outstanding balances at every month end so let's say if you don't reconcile your customer balances um, your sales figure um, and the output VAT may not be correct uh, you might have posted the, the one sales invoice twice so if you have posted um, an invoice twice your sales figure may be overstated and your output VAT is going to be overstated and same goes with the uh, supplier, bal supplier balances so your purchases and input VAT may not be correct. So you may end up paying uh, too much VAT to HMRC or too little VAT to HMRC. In either case, it's not good uh, because HMRC is is very very uh, curious for the VAT area uh, because they just want to get the uh, VAT money. Uh, and if they see that there is any discrepancies. Uh, you will be seeing you should expect to see some VAT inquiry from HMRC which is then gonna um, increase your uh, workload and it would you, you need to spend quite a bit time and energy to uh, prepare a reply for the uh, HMRC notice okay so these are the three things you should be doing before running a VAT return and once you are comfortable with all these three things um, you can run the VAT return. So I'll go. I'll go back to my Sage, and if I click on my bank account module, and I just want to show you that I have reconciled my uh, bank. So just double click on your bank, and here it would show you the last reconciled date, which is 31st of August 2017, and this is the reconciled balance. So the VAT return I'm going to run is for uh, the quarter ending 31st of August 2017 so um, I will go back to my VAT module and click on this button it says VAT return okay so the first thing is take a backup so you cannot reverse the VAT reconciliation process so once you have prepared a VAT reconciliation process you cannot go back so this is why it's very very important to take a backup because you know at the at the last step before submission of course if you see any problem you can go back and restore your backup where you haven't run any VAT return so this is why this is recommended by Sage also that you take a backup before running a VAT return and here you put the date range 
because this is the latest version of Sage version 24. So um, if you have previous version, the older version, you can see the date. You would see the date like this, but in the new version, it's like this. So it takes the month uh, June 2017 to August 2017. Okay, so this box is to include the reconciled transactions. So if you have run the VAT return before and you have reconciled the transactions and you want to run the VAT return for the same quarter again, what you need to do is you need to include, tick on this box. You need to check this box. I have run the VAT return for this quarter. So what I need to do is I, I'll, I'll be checking this box. It says include uh, reconciled transactions. And this is the VAT verification boxes. Uh, just show you quickly. I've discussed uh, these eight boxes in my previous video, so please refer to my uh, previous video. So once everything is done, you need to click on Calculate VAT Return. Okay, so these are the transactions which are coming from the previous quarter, quarter ending 31st of May 2017. It may not be wrong because you know what happens when you're doing the VAT return in the real life. Um, you're gonna have some invoices from the previous quarter so what you can do is you can include those invoices uh, but there are certain conditions you need to ask your accountant like uh, for the services you can go six months back uh, to claim the VAT and for the uh, and for the goods you can go four years back to uh, claim the VAT on the goods uh, but you need to have goods uh, with you at the time you are claiming VAT. You can discuss, uh, you can ask your accountant uh, more about this thing. Yep. So I strongly recommend you to ask your accountant uh, before you want to claim the VAT for the previous quarters. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include these transactions in my current VAT return and I will click on include. If I ignore this one, so these transactions, they're going to be outstanding. And whenever you run the VAT return for a quarter, these are going to be popping up here. So I'm going to include uh, all the transactions here. And this takes me to the second step, which says reconcile VAT transactions. Okay, um, if I want to go back, I can just click on back button and make some changes. Yeah. So let's start with the verification results. So 85 potential queries. It doesn't mean that these transactions are wrong, but it's just because of the you have uh, clicked, you have checked in some uh, boxes in the verification um, in the verification window. So this is why these transactions are coming up here. So I'm going to click on view results. So possible duplicate transactions, two possible duplicate transactions. I'm going to click on view, and it shows me the two possible duplicate transactions. But I'm sure that these transactions are correct because I have reconciled my bank and it is coming from the bank it shows you the bank account number 1210 so that's it I'm going to close this one possible missing entries zero invoices and credits not updated so it's all correct okay other potential issues 57 transactions with an unexpected VAT value so I'm going to click on view and have a look okay so what it says so these are the um, supplier names this is the net amount and this is a VAT amount what sage is suggesting me here that uh, this is the 20 percent 163.71 is 20 20 percent of 818.57 but what i recorded in the system is 129.07 so this is what is coming from the actual invoice because this company is uh, is an off license shop so when they buy to sell the things, so uh, not all the not all the items in the invoice is carrying the uh, are carrying the VAT amounts. So these are, these are all the uh, correct VAT amounts coming from the actual VAT invoice. So that's it. I'm just gonna drag it down. See these ones. So there are some invoices where the VAT value is zero, but I am putting the tax code T1. Um, it doesn't really matter. Sage system suggests me that the VAT amount should have been this but uh, this is what is coming from the actual VAT invoice so I'm going to close this one and it says 26 sales purchase transactions not using your most commonly used tax code so uh, just click on view 
so um, these are the transactions I posted uh, where the tax amount is zero and uh, tax code is T0 uh, while in the VAT verification setting I selected T1 as the most commonly used tax codes so all the um, transactions with T0 they're gonna be showing up here but these are all correct so just close this one and zero general transactions where the tax code is not selected as non vetable so these are all correct I'm just gonna close this one okay so next button is make adjustment this button is very very important but normally um, I use this button to uh, when I'm making a correction in the VAT return I'm gonna do another new video on this button uh, so because this is um, very important but it is uh, important when you're doing the VAT correction okay so these are the reports uh, you can print certain reports from here um, the reports which I normally run these are the three reports VAT return, VAT summary and VAT detail report just click on the preview and run so what you can do is you can print off all the reports or a couple of them let's say summary and the um, VAT return um, report and show it to your manager or to your director uh, just to make sure that they are happy with the figures and all the figures they are making sense okay and there is some reconciliation reports but if you have run these three reports from the print VAT return they're gonna be more than enough okay one if you are happy with all these figures in these nine boxes you can click on the reconciliation VAT return button but if you click on this button you won't be able to go back yeah so just make sure that all not all these figures they're making sense you can check the figures with the previous quarter yeah so if there is any unusual changes so you can just um, uh, correct it here so I'm gonna I'm, I'm okay with all these figures and then I will just click on reconcile VAT return so this will flag all the transactions falling in this VAT quarter from June to August 2017 just click on yes okay here you'll see there is no uh, back button so you won't be able to go back okay so this says reconcile this says your VAT quarter and this is the name of the company okay now there are three boxes which is very very important uh, this is the quarter and date so VAT transfer this is where you post a journal so sales tax control account and purchase tax control account these figures they are taken into the VAT liability account so you have to post this journal so just click on post this journal and a double entry will be uh, done by the system this is where the system is very very useful I mean you don't have to do any manual entries okay then submit to HMRC just click on this one this is um, what I explained in my previous video you need to fill in these boxes by going into uh, settings and uh, company information so once you have done it this one just click cancel and then you just press on submit and it will be submitted to HMRC okay record payment this is once you have actually made a payment to HMRC so you can go back here you can come back here put the date select the bank so because I'm using this one put the date uh, reference can be VAT quarter ending 31st of August 2017 this is the VAT amount and just click on post bank payment okay so this is um, everything for the VAT return I'm just gonna close this one okay if I show you here see this one so VAT return the, it starts appearing here and it just stays there see this is the amount you're paying so the company has claimed quite, quite a few um, amount in the VAT return so status is pending before I did not click on the submission button it's paid no uh, because I did not record any payment in here and the VAT transferred yes the VAT has transferred um, because I have posted this VAT journal here so this is everything um, in the VAT return before finishing I just want to show you one thing if you go to the transaction module and just drag on the right side see this one so this says VAT reconciled date see all the transactions falling in this quarter 
you will see the VAT reconciled date here. So this is you can also this is where you can also see okay in what in what quarter this transaction was reconciled in. Um, that's it for the um, VAT return. Um, and I hope so you like this video. And if you need any, if you have any questions, you can get back to me. Thank you for time.